Hi, I'm Marco Martin from the KD project. Today I will show you in the screencast the status of the Plasma Network project. The most important thing is now if you uh, run uh, KD from SVN uh, you will have uh, installed it without any effort because uh, since Tokamak uh, is usually time for big moves and big merges we decided it was just about time to um, finally merge the netbook shell in the official KDE so it will be definitely out for uh, KDE 4.4 and in 4.4 you will be able to start um, the netbook shell as a separate session from KDM and everything will be done automatically for you but um, right now just for testing purposes uh, let's see how you can start it by hand in an existing desktop session uh, first thing open a terminal and uh, quit the main plasma shell by with k quit app plasma desktop here we go and start uh, uh, the plasma netbook shell by the command plasma netbook okay here we go we have the uh, main uh, plasma netbook screen um, Right now I have also a, a queen rule that um, says that all the uh, new windows are launched as maximized uh, but this will be done uh, automatically for you um, in the final version as well as uh, removing the border from maximized windows like this. Okay, so um, since the last screencast some things uh, have changed uh, mostly under the hood and bug fixes but there are also some neat um, um, visual changes so let's find out let's start from this view that is uh, the um, search and launch activity is used as a main menu to start application and do general searches just like um, uh, krunner but in a way that it's always in front of the user and it's always um, more discoverable so it's easy to launch any query uh, for example I have searched for Conqueror and I can access the program itself or the settings or even a Wikipedia uh, page that talks about Conqueror exactly as you want on the internet as a Google search but this is done locally a neat uh, change that we had in the mm, in this view is this uh, a new overlay effect uh, that is um, looks like just a, a key runner but um, is now in the main plasma library so it will bring more consistency along the uh, all the plasma components and all the libraries and all the widgets that will use uh, uh, this uh, an item view another thing that uh, can be seen there is the support of the keyboard navigation uh, this is uh, really important because uh, in a mobile device we don't know what will be the input method so now we can use just probably the keyboard uh, as usual uh, arrow keys for navigating around uh, enter for launching things and uh, um, big space or home to go back to the main screen another uh, uh, really major way to use mobile device of course is touch screen so we are quite screen friendly too in fact it's possible to uh, navigate and scroll around this view just by clicking and dragging the view around in the same uh, uh, way it's possible with the newspaper activity where you can scroll by clicking on any point that is not uh, mouse sensitive by itself so 
empty spaces, not just push buttons and input fields. Merging the NetBoot shell in KDE Base, they let us to integrate with the new tools we have here, that are the new background dialog, here it is, that is much more usable and pretty than the old one. And uh, most important, uh, uh, the new widget explorer. Here we go, this guy up there. That is a very successful summer of code project uh, of this year. It has been merged in uh, Tokamak, just like the, the old uh, netbook shell. It still has some rough edges, but it works really well already. What is it's really neat of that is. Uh, and it is way more uh, small screen friendly than the old one because it's just that little strip up there and it's also much more touch screen friendly because uh, it's all drag and drop based here we go in the netbook shell we even relay out all the main activities when the widget explorer is shown here we go in this way it doesn't cover the existing widget at all having a much more uh, clear look and uh, improving of usability of the UI in this so much constrained screen environment. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Bye bye.